This is Mr. Masonette, and today we are going to practice multiplying mixed numbers together. Before multiplying any mixed number, you must rename them as improper fractions. The first thing I like to do when renaming a mixed number into an improper fraction is to write the denominators exactly as they are. The denominators never change when renaming a mixed number into an improper fraction. So for 6 and 1 fourth, I'm just going to write a number 4 below here. And to get our numerator, it is a two-step process. Starting with your denominator, you are going to multiply it by our whole number. So you always multiply the denominator by your whole number. And you take that product, which in this case is 24, and add it to whatever your numerator is. And 24 plus 1 is 25. For 2 and 8 fifteenths, we do the same thing. We multiply our denominator by our whole number. 15 times 2 gives us a product of 30, and 30 plus 8 gives us a total of 38. Now we have two improper fractions that we can multiply together. The next thing we do is look for any possibilities of cross cancellation. This will make our answer easier to solve. We do this by looking for a common factor shared by one number at the top and one number at the bottom. For example, I would say that we can cancel out 25 and 15 because they share a common factor of the number 5. Now the number 5 should not be written anywhere, that should be kept in your head mentally. 5 can be divided into 15 3 times, and 5 can be divided into 25 5 times. 4 and 38 can also be canceled as well because they share a common factor of 2. 2 can be divided into 4 twice, and 2 can be divided into 38 19 times. Now there is nothing else that we can cancel out, so we are going to proceed to multiply our numerators together to get our numerator. And 5 times 19 is a product of 95. And for our denominator, 2 times 3 gives us a product of 6. Now we have an answer that is an improper fraction, and we must simplify this by changing it back into a mixed number. And we do this by taking the numerator and dividing it by our denominator. So we're going to take 95 and divide it by the number 6. 6 can be divided into 9 one time. One group of 6 is 6. The difference between 9 and 6 is 3. And we're going to bring down our next digit, which is a 5, giving us the number 35. 6 can go into 35 5 times. And 5 times 6 is 30. And 35 take away 30 is 5. Now we have no other digits to bring down, so 5 is our remainder. So to express our answer, we're going to take our whole number here at the top, 15, and write a fraction bar next to it. Our remainder, which is 5, will always be our numerator, and the divisor will always be your denominator. And check to see if you have simplified it all the way, and 5, 6 cannot be reduced any further. So 15 and 5, 6 is our answer.